start. Hello. Hi. Uh, we have gathered here again in the earliest, earliest of morning. With our drinks, our beverage of choice. Yes. Uh, to recap and summarize a little bit about uh, our kickoff week of the current project. It's been a good week. Mm -hmm. It's been a really good week. Um, I don't know if we want to go through it day by day or just uh, highlights that really stood out to us. Uh, you tell what you what stood out for you and I can tell what stood out for me. And uh, okay. <laughs> and and for me, it's less uh, less about chronology and more about the the method. Hmm. Well, one thing I will say is that it's I've really enjoyed working together again. <laughs> uh, just the flow of ideas and being able to bounce stuff back and forth has been great. I've really loved that. Um, I don't know. I think every day has had its sort of standout moments for me. Like I've really enjoyed just getting into the nitty gritty, and every day we've sort of stumbled upon something that has added to the overall thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, just as an example, the one that's freshest in my mind is we uh, discovered a lot of conflict points potentially yesterday. And uh, while there's a good chance we're not going to use all of them, mm -hmm. a couple of them did make a, a lot of good sense. Mm -hmm. And it's just when we stumble upon things like that and I'm just like, oh my god, this is, yeah, I, I love it when that happens. So, <laughs> um, and, and, and actually fleshing out Gnarly as well mm -hmm. as a character, that was good. And, and making the decision not to over flesh out Scribe. Like, let's just mm -hmm. see what Scribe's deal is. Like, let him, you know, we've got a couple of pointers for him, mm -hmm. um, but we're going to sort of develop the story a little bit more and see what his whole thing is. So I'm pretty pleased with, with what we've accomplished. We've got uh, a lot of... Um, I'm going to let you talk about the um, the fluffy notes, mm -hmm. the fluffy moments, because they're sort of your your thing. Um, <laughs> so fluffy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so fluffy. Oops. Um, <laughs> um, I I like the uh, the sort of current chronology or the the um, suggested chronology mm -hmm. as it currently stands, like the whole. Uh, you know, Gnarly gets the list, mm -hmm. Scribe and the Doctor thing happens, and then they eventually meet up with Jewel. I think that's all fantastic, and, and working that out was a lot of fun as well. Um, so, yeah, I've just had a really good time. <laughs> yeah, good fun. Yes, uh, so uh, from my part, mm, point one, uh, I'm kind of hoping to keep on doing these uh, co-op mornings but uh, uh, of course uh, this week has been uh, it has been a rare gem in that I didn't mm. have too many tasks in the ahead of me uh, right now I'm uh, I am uh, excused from the dog duty and uh, uh, and overall, it's like warm and chill and all that. So I, I, I'm like grateful that that we were able to exploit all that. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, as a contrast, uh, I can bring in my memories from uh, a few years ago when I went uh, for the countryside for summer, and it was also chill and warm, and I didn't use that time. Uh, for for creativity, instead I, I just sort of took the time off and and uh, prepared myself for for when when we start writing. And very soon I lost the touch with the uh, with any sort of semblance of scheduling. Of course, back then we didn't have the worked out habits either. But but still, uh, mm. I can. Uh, I can notice a learning point in myself. It's like I, I know that I need some sort of uh, structure ahead of me, and then I will I will still spend the same time like avoiding the structure. But if if the structure isn't there, then I will never get to those goals. Mm. 
but yeah, uh, regarding this work, so uh, at the beginning of the week, I, I remember the the horror of Monday morning, like <gasps> we're gonna we're gonna start working on this new thing, and I have no <laughs> idea where to start, <laughs> and and that's that's where this idea came from that. Uh, uh, let's take it very easy. Let's just sort of pile notes and let let them let them gather and let them gather in different documents so that it doesn't uh, so that there is there there is no pressure of too early uh, uh, like chapter structure and that sort of thing. So mm. this this is uh, so this is actually a sort of a tip or a or a. Uh, uh, first draft hack uh, for co-op writing, although I think I think this is something I do on my own as well. But but uh, like especially if you uh, if you do uh, co-op sessions, then what could work early on uh, when making up the first draft is whether you uh, you might already have an outline or you might just get started. Uh, as is, but uh, take uh, different, make make different documents for different situations or different uh, conflict points or different characters or wh whatever your uh, your personal uh, system will be. But make uh, make like little piles of information and start piling information in them. Mm -hmm. And and, and don't worry about the sort of overall layout or anything. Collect the bones. The, yes. <laughs> the thing that I found really good about this is that when we take it super slow and and carefully, we mm -hmm. are we can discuss things more and we're more on the same page. Mm -hmm. Like we we sort of um, synchronize. Mm -hmm. One, with one another's thinking easier mm -hmm. with this process as well, which is, I mean, that's a, that's a gift for us, right? I mean, that's really cool. Yeah, and and this sort of uh, piling the information in smaller piles, uh, this method uh, works really well for sort of like second tier brainstorming, like when you're not uh, when you are not. Uh, searching for random ideas but when you are trying to see where certain uh, determined elements will take you so like you already know uh, that you have this character and you you might even know that this character shall meet another character but you don't know how exactly yet mm -hmm. so it's yeah it's it's like uh, a more refined sort of yeah, pile and sort is yeah, is is the sort of uh, keyword here. It's been good fun, and I like how um, you talk about going into the Monday sort of like a little bit worried about the situation. <laughs> but actually, I think on the Monday we did the most work, right? We or not? We did, we might not have done the most work, but we worked for the longest time. I think mm -hmm. we were there until almost six o'clock. Oh yeah, possibly my time. So we really just hit the ground running with that <laughs> which was great maybe not six o'clock your time did we i think it was a really long day i think we took a break in the middle to go oh yeah yeah, yeah. we yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super easy <laughs> very little <laughs> convenience <laughs> oh yeah there's what there were um, three recorded bits and some bits that we didn't record in between yeah, 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 yeah. I think the latest bit was like an hour long. Then there was one bit that was half an hour, and I think another half an hour, and then the random, uh, random brainstorming between them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this uh, pile and sort, sort. Uh, method gave us uh, it has given us I think like about 10 documents uh, about a page each or maybe even two pages but well right right now uh, at this moment 
uh, word count is not applicable and page count is not applicable. So this this is this is not where where we do that that at the moment yet. But uh, we did get uh, general notes about uh, the uh, about uh, the events as far as we know because. Uh, there will be some anchor points which we know about but we don't know how to resolve those necessarily and we don't know how the characters get there uh, did we do any outlining on monday or were we already past this Ye uh, on monday you created some of the fluffy notes documents but mm. uh, intentionally did not populate them okay so, so I think uh, I think outlining. We did some outlining before this. I think we did some mm -hmm. outlining uh, last week, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, anywho, uh, so this uh, this fluffy notes or designated piles method has given us uh, collected thoughts on certain events, and also like collected thoughts and commentary uh, on characters and yesterday when we were discussing characters then we uh, by accident uh, ran into some uh, some events that could possibly happen <laughs> so there was a little bit of a extra burst there <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. there was some uh, tied it back potentially into the take and flight arc and there was mm -hmm. some other bits and pieces which uh, answered a few questions and I just the going through the character notes and uh, working on like gnarly that's I think that's going to be a standout moment for me because I've sort of we we've I think what came across is we kind of knew some of that stuff already mm -hmm. but nobody had ever bothered to write it down anywhere uh, ah. Gnarly just existed in the stories. Um, I didn't know there was... a lot of that. Oh, okay. Well, you helped me uh, realize what mm. I think I was I was thinking when I originally wrote the stories. But to me, Gnarly's only ever existed in like the Traveller uh, and in a few in a few forum stories. Mm. There's never ever been like a sort of concentrated effort to really nail down his character. He's like, oh, just a salvage technician at the Void Cloud and he's got some Reclaimer heritage and he's his ship's called Theory and there's a and in the forum version there's some unique aspects to Theory mm. uh, but that I don't think carries over. Like I think the the cargo bay he's got an expanding cargo bay. So Yeah. For oh, whatever we reason, are we that. are veering into the relevant territory here. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> those were all, those were all forum stories. But when we actually came and sat down and talked about uh, Gnarly in the terms of collision calls, actually he's become a more fleshed out character, mm -hmm. just because we've taken the time to sit down and, and work those notes out. So that's great. I love I love his whole family deal and that sort of thing. That's brilliant. Um, and the the potential for his uh, for his hyper focus, let's call it, that's really exciting as well. So. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing how this all handles. And also, the uh, w I think we touched on discussions while I had the whiteboard up and all this and that. But actually, you were talking about we're not gonna we're not gonna post that video. I don't think. But you mm -hmm. were talking about uh, the the loneliness or the um, the solo nature. Yeah, uh, not lo not loneliness. Quite the opposite. No. The, uh, yearning for solitude for, for all three yes. characters so it's like yeah. it's, it, it's a huge difference loneliness mm -hmm. is when yeah. you uh, want other people's company and you can't have it but solitude is when you are alone and you're alone yes <laughs> so that that was a that was a pretty cool discussion as well because uh, I think I think we've spent some time with these characters a lot of time but we've never actually um, like voiced out loud some of these things like when I, I read Seeker the other day and I read uh, I read uh, Salvage Mission uh, the original Salvage Mission not the mm -hmm. updated mm -hmm. notes version that we've got um, and th 
they're good characters and we were writing them but I don't think I, I don't remember in Seeker ever sitting down and really fleshing Jewel out I think we just started working on chapter notes and occasionally adding sort of things to those chapter notes mm. but I don't think we ever really sat down and vocalised a lot of these points I remember trying in collision calls. okay <laughs> so, uh, so I, I have to disagree with you here uh, you okay. say that we have spent time with the characters but not voiced it uh, I, I say it's quite the opposite it's that uh, uh, okay here, here, here is also where uh, where I will take away uh, I, I will distance myself a little bit and, and, and say that I, I was trying to do certain things and you weren't mm -hmm. quite there yet uh, so I would say that we exactly we didn't spend time with the characters or we didn't we we didn't actually or you didn't actually know the characters so it's like mm -hmm. uh, you might have written down things about them but uh, a lot of that was empty uh, and this this is this is where those discussions I, I don't remember uh, how much I tried to do that uh, during Sika? Maybe I just in the end figured it out on my own. Uh, mm. Although I think we tried to discuss some of it, but that's that's where all this uh, uh, what is she afraid of and what's the core wound and and those those uh, discussions come from. So I, I remember I was trying to bombard you with the. Uh, film courage uh, videos it's like yeah hey, look what they're talking about we need this for the character <laughs> but uh, mm. I think I think uh, it took some catching up to uh, to actually get there the, and, I and think the way like, I look at that is I was too low a level and you were giving me spell books for, <laughs> for a character who was way yeah more level ten, than ten me. level spells <laughs> Yeah, I think I've leveled up a bit in the time mm -hmm. between. Yeah, now, though, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, it's like uh, I, I think the the difference is, and I keep I keep using the comparison of uh, populating a character sheet and and actually getting to know the character or playing the character. Mm -hmm. But the character sheet itself is not a good uh, analogy here because oftentimes when when somebody already writes something down on a character sheet, they they already sort of have have uh, a knowledge or or have an understanding in mind. But it's it's more like uh, it's more like this this principle that goes uh, observe, don't judge. So it's like when. Uh, uh, when I saw that whiteboard and uh, the keywords under the mm -hmm. under the characters, then I was, I was immediately this is wrong. No, this this is mm -hmm. not this is not what I want to achieve. Uh, and uh, later I figured out that that's 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 what it was. It was labeling the characters with certain uh, uh, certain tags. Like okay, you're the funny one. You're the fighty one. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, <laughs> But it, it wasn't it wasn't the it, it wasn't the actual goal for the day. So this mm -hmm. uh, the discussion that actually did go up on YouTube. That's that's where we got to the part that I had in mind. Uh, that was another interesting thing is when we set the whiteboard up and everything. But then it was like <laughs> this isn't working for us. We should can this and and mm -hmm. do something else. And I think that. If we'd have tried to force that through, uh, we'd have regretted it. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, oh, so that was that was an important lesson learned. Yeah. Fortunately, technology was uh, was uh, I don't know on which side, uh, on the other side <laughs> as well. So technology was working mm -hmm. against us, and and uh, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I did in our decision a little bit there. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Whoopsie! <laughs> yeah, it was for the best in the end, definitely. <laughs> Whoops! Whoopsie! Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, anything else? I don't think so. I think mm -hmm. uh, if anything comes to mind, we'll probably make another video out of it. Yeah. Um, I think there's going to be plenty of collision course discussions uploaded to the channel in the future. Yeah, just m maybe not so frequent, because right now. Mm. 
uh, on some days I have managed to upload two. Ooh. Even even now there is uh, one has been published and one is waiting in the buffer. But you've only been releasing one video a day, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Because I was like, have I missed? Have I missed something? Have no. I missed one? But I guess they're just unlisted the, at the moment. There is only the unlisted one. The early outlining. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I I I think uh, uh, I think I wanna take a moment to look back at this as well so maybe maybe I maybe I've said so in on camera already once but I remember it well it was <laughs> it was a dark and stormy winter day <laughs> and we were discussing something else and uh, I think I was scattering notes for the base camp story and maybe figuring out some background stuff and uh, I think we were just having a casual chat, not uh, not trying to have a work sh session or anything. And uh, and I was I was putting together uh, some notes here and there, like connecting some some story points with other story points, and suddenly <laughs> <laughs> the outline just started co coming out. <laughs> <laughs> and and like, and and, thi and this is this is when this character does this and this character and then they do then then they they encounter each other and then together they will go there and encounter the third char character and so and so on and so on <laughs> and that's that's when I was uh, I, I think you suggested uh, recording it on audio so I, I I might also put the, the audio version in the same playlist I listed for uh, for the history's sake <laughs> uh, uh, I, 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 I will think about it but yeah that uh, uh, that moment of uh, uh, the s sort of accumulated unno unnoticingly un accumulated story bits just bursting out from the sea so that was glorious and mm. uh, I I think we had a mini moment like this yesterday as well when uh, we didn't even try to come up with uh, any new plot points anywhere but the sort of there there was certain critical mass regarding the character info and suddenly <laughs> <laughs> I love it when that happens yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Maybe I'm being overly optimistic here, but uh, I think that this uh, current work method of sort of sifting through uh, minor information and contextual information, I think this sort of laid groundwork for for this sort of it's like when you're you're looking away from the plot, you're not trying to create a plot. Instead, you are. Uh, building up some connections elsewhere and then in the background it just sort of gathers up and, and, and comes out. Yeah, so far so good. It's working really well. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it's been a glorious week. Yes, and very glorious. Uh, we, sh we shall see how uh, how the work on project collision course continues. Uh, we will we will discuss it some more, uh, and when uh, when more videos come up, then we shall share them. But I, until then, I think uh, this has been a neat little summary. Mm -hmm. I will stop recording in a moment. <laughs> Stay tuned. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.